Hi, I'm Sean Asmussen from Bitversity. I'm going to share with you how to set up a Binance account on Binance.com. Very handy for those of you who want to transfer, let's say, Tron and USDT to your TronLink wallet. So registering is very straightforward. I'm pretty sure that you know exactly how that works. You can do it with a mobile phone. You can do it with an email. In my case, I've set up my new account with an email address. I have created the account and then I've gone to my email address and grabbed a six digit code, which I need to enter to confirm that that was my email address. So now I'm going to log in. So clicking back to Binance.com, I'm going to click on login. I'm going to put my email and password in and log into that. The first thing you want to do here is go to your profile picture here and you want to set up your security and your identification. Let's go to security first. There are four things you want to consider. Enable two-factor authentication. That is where you've got a Google Authenticator on your phone and every 30 seconds it gives you six new digits. So without your phone and that app on your phone, Nobody can get into your account. That's highly recommended. I do it on anything crypto related. The next step is to verify your account, also to put anti-phishing code on and turn on whitelists. Let's do this one step at a time. To verify your account, it's going to ask me what country I'm in. And now this will determine how much I can move in and out of the account per day. For instance, how much money can I transfer from my bank account per day and how much crypto can I take out per day? So the basic is very quick. I'm going to verify that now. I can do eight and a half thousand dollars a day and eighty five thousand dollars per month. What I need to do is upload a driver's license, a passport, this would obviously be a case of you scanning that. You would then enter the ID number off that driver's license or passport and do the relevant information here and continue. And then on the next screen, it will allow you to upload that scanned PDF or picture of that. That gets approved very quick. Now at eight and a half thousand dollars a day, and this will probably calculate in US dollars, I'm pretty sure it does. So just allow for your denomination wherever you are. After that, I highly recommend that you start the intermediate one and get that underway because it can take 10 days to get it approved. All right, now we've done that, this would literally take you a matter of hours to get approved, sometimes a day, it's very quick. Go back to your security settings again. And now enable anti-phishing code. You will actually just go in and put in a code there, follow the prompts, and this code will come to you in every single email that Binance send you. So by you putting a code there, you will know that it definitely came from Binance. It's just so someone doesn't pretend to be Binance and email you. Then you got a withdrawal whitelist. You don't need to do this, but I find it very handy. Let me give you an example of how it works. If I go to TronLink and I pick my TronLink wallet and I copy that wallet address or more visually here, copy it like this, then I can turn on a whitelist withdrawal and in here I will add an address and I would give it a label. I'm going to call it Bitversity TronLink Wallet. I would then say that it's for say USDT or Tron. Really I mainly just transfer USDT. Then I put the address label in here. It will automatically pick up that it's a Tron. And then the address origin, let me just have a quick look at that. That's a wallet address. And I'm gonna select the type of wallet. Now I can't actually recall what I did here, but let me just select this and see what happens. 
wallet name, I'm just gonna call it TronLink, and OK. Then I save it. And now I gotta verify it either with my phone or a two-factor authenticator. Just to put this into perspective, if someone had hacked your account and just wanted to add a whitelist of their address, they could have managed to do so up until then, unless you have a Google Authenticator or a SMS verification. So it wouldn't let me do it at that stage. Here is where you set up the 2FA, two-factor authentication, which you have here. So I recommend that you put an app on your phone called Authy, A-U-T-H-Y. The reason I don't recommend Google Authenticator is that if you lose your phone, I have yet to work out how you can actually reinstate that Google Authenticator on your phone. I know that a couple of years ago it wasn't possible. Maybe it is now and someone can correct me on that. But I started using Authy for that reason because I know how to reinstate that on a new phone. If all that sounds too complicated, then have SMS authentication on your phone. Those are your security settings. Now, I highly recommend that you just go through and do this all in one go. You'll probably have it all done in, let's say, half an hour. All right, the next step is your identification. Now, as you can see, we were looking at this already before. So I had set this to my country and this authentication is where you verify who you are. This is for, you know, know your customer reasons so that they know that you are a legitimate, honest citizen, right? This needs to go through. Once you've done that, this will now allow you to bring funds into your account from a bank account. Now, I obviously have an existing Binance account that's all set up and, and approved on the various levels. But let me jump in here and see if we can at least click through 90% of the way at least. So let's say that you've just logged into Binance and you've got your stuff done, you've got your settings on. You go to Wallet, and fit and spot. Just remember, there's your profile. Go to wallet, fiat and spot. Fiat is fiat currency. In here, it will say everything you have. This is a brand new account, so it's got a goose egg in here at the moment. Now you can deposit real money in here. Should I say currency? Fiat currency in here. And the way you do that is you click deposit. You select your currency, in my case, AUD. I click continue. This PayOD and OSCO is something that you can deposit with instantly. Now it wants me to do the basic info. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to, instead of doing that, I'm gonna jump into my real account temporarily just to show you how that works. So now I'm in my account, so I logged out of the other one and I'm in the real account. And as you can recall, I went into wallet, fiat and spot, and then I clicked on deposit up here. Now I've chosen my currency. I've got OSCO and pay ID on, I'm gonna click continue. And now it's going to say, how much do you wanna put in? So let's say I wanna put in $9,000 and uh, I've gone over my limit for the day. So let's call it $1,000 and I click continue. And now I can copy this address. As you can see, this is my pay ID address. So now I can go to my bank and I can pay via pay ID. Now, when you go to your bank, you go to your internet banking and in your internet banking, you select pay and then you look for pay ID. You select pay ID and then you will use email as identificator and then you will put this address in, you'll copy and paste this in. 
then you will simply send it from a bank account to Binance and it arrives instantly. This is like immediately. So the thing to remember here is that Binance will accept money via pay ID from an account that has got your name on it. It has to have your name on it. So if you've ID'd yourself with your driver's license on Binance and it's Bob Jones, the bank account that you're transferring from on your National Australia Bank or ANZ or Westpac or Commonwealth, whoever it is, it has to be a Bob Jones account. It has to be the same as you've ID'd yourself in your security setting or identification settings. Now, the first time you do this, it may take 24 hours to clear. After that, it is instant. So I highly recommend go and set yourself up on Binance. It doesn't cost you anything to do. And with your first transaction, just put like $100 in there just to test it out. Then once you've done that, you can go from to trade and convert. So let's say you've bought, you've put a thousand Aussie dollars in here. It's arrived via pay ID. Now you go to trade and convert. And then you select your currency And then you select what you want to change it to. And then you say, I want to do 1000 Australian dollars and I'm going to preview my conversion and it will say it's 786 USDT and then I convert it. And then that will end up on my Fiat and Spot page here. So now as a real quick recap, We've signed up to Binance. We've gone and set up our security settings and we set up things like two-factor authentication, verify our email, those sort of things. We've gone into the identification area and ID'd ourselves with, let's say, a driver's license. And then we've, I've also shown you how to go into Fiat and Spot. This is where, this is your go-to place where you go. And this is going to show you how much money you have, how much cryptos you have, It'll be all down here. If you put an Aussie dollars in from an Aussie bank account and also showed you how to deposit via OSCO or pay ID and how to convert your dollars into USDT. And at that stage, you can then go and transfer your USDT to your TronLink wallet. And the way you would do that is you go to your TronLink and you copy your account number, the, the wallet itself, and then you would go next to your crypto, which will say USDT, which will be down here, and there'll be one that calls with, with that says withdraw. You click that one, right? Withdraw. And then you would select what you're actually withdrawing. And now I'm actually in the fiat area here because I clicked up the top. But in the crypto area itself down here, you'll have a withdraw and it will allow you to select from your whitelisted addresses and you send the amount that you want to send. It's very, very straightforward once you see it all in front of you. So that's all for me. Thank you very much for following along. If you need any clarifications on this, please go back over the video again. First time you look at something, it can take a little bit to absorb. So um, this is a very good platform to use, very easy and very quick. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sean Asmussen from Bitversity and I'll see you again in another video.